Hey everybody, welcome to Mom Plays. I am Mom. We are still playing Fallout New Vegas and will be for quite some time. Um, we are in Novak, if you didn't know by the dinosaur. Um, or if you've never played this game, Novak is the place with the dinosaur. Um, so I changed it to daytime right before I started up the video so that we could come around and talk to some people about Boone's wife. So let's come on over here and see if Cliff Briscoe is in here yet so that we can ask him about it. Hi, Cliff. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Uh, yeah. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Okay, um, and then let's see if we can sell some stuff. Sure thing. Let's Have see if we've got anything we want to sell here. I'm going to sell off that dynamite. Here, have that too. I don't care about that. Um, I'm going to keep what I have there for now. And I'm going to keep what I have there for now. But I'm going to have a couple blood packs and some dirty water and jet and some med tats. And these. Hmm. God, take those off my hands, will you? I don't need to be carrying that around. Uh, let's see what else do we have. We have a couple. Wow, we have a lot of cartons of cigarettes. Take these off my hands. Take these off my hands. Take these. Uh, take those. Take those. Um. Wow. Okay. That that was pretty that was a pretty good haul. Okay, goodbye. Come back soon now. All right now. <sighs> Manny already kind of said he didn't get along. What are you still doing here, Boone? Should be Manny. Alright. Manny already said that he didn't get along with Boone's wife, but I think he might have more to say about her now that we've opened up the the quest. Either way, let's uh Hmm. Let's go talk to... What's her name? June? Is that her name? Uh, I guess we'll figure that out in a minute. Jeannie May. That's hey. right. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Well, uh, what can you tell me about... Actually, let's say what's wrong with Boone first. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Ah, oh, well then what can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Hmm. So she doesn't have a very good... very good uh, impression about Boone's wife. Let's see. Um, what's the quickest way out of this dump? Um... Yeah, we don't need to ask her anything else for Watch now. Watch out for strangers. Well, I sure will. You you kind of are a stranger because we barely know each other, Jeannie Mae. Let's see what else people have to say about Boone's wife. What about uh, the guys down here? The Is it Briscoe's? Oh my gosh, I can't even remember now. I don't know why I want to say Briscoe. Uh, no, it's the McBrides. There we go. Let's see if they know about uh, Boone's wife. Where are you, honey? 
Hi, what, Alice. What brings you here? Well, I want to know what you can tell me about Boone's wife. Boone. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They seem real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. Okay. I just wanted to meet you. Oh. Well, I'm Alice. And you've already met my beau, Dusty. He's sweet, ain't he? I don't care what my mama said. I know how to pick him. We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. Well, there you go. All right, goodbye. Nice of you to visit. Yep, no problem, honey. Um, so where is your lovely beau that you were just telling me about? Why are you sleeping, Dusty? Wake up. Howdy. Find anything? Not yet. Well, don't worry yourself too much over it. We'll get by. Uh, what can you tell me about Boone's wife? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone. That's for darn sure. Okay. So Boone's Go wife on. didn't like being there. Sounds like maybe she complained a lot. Um... Yep, let's see if anybody else knows about her. I can't remember. There's somebody. That's Jeannie Mae's house. Don't need to go in there. We've talked to her. Um, let's see who's on over here. I can't quite remember. Uh, no Bark's house is over here. I know that. Anything in that mailbox? Mm, not that I want. Uh, that's just Novak House. Okay, that doesn't help me. That's Nobark's shack right there. Alright, well, um... We need to figure out what happened to her, and we really don't have a whole lot. I really need to talk to, um, Manny again. So hopefully he's in the... In the dinosaur now. That would be really nice if he was. Oh, you know who else we might be able to talk to about that? Is good old Ranger Andy. Let's see if he's got anything to say. What up, Ranger Andy? Any word on Station Charlie? Uh, what can you tell me about Boone's wife? Well, first of all, what's wrong with Boone? Had his wife taken. I don't think he'll ever be the same as he was. Damn shame. I told the rangers up at the station to keep an eye out, but there's just too much ground out there for them to cover. Okay, what, uh, what can you tell me about Boone's wife then? Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Mm. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? Hmm, so she was pretty critical about Novak, eh? I don't need you to tell me about the Rangers, I'm good. Hmm, okay. So she was critical, and <clears throat> there were two people Howdy. who were, um pretty upset with her criticisms. Let's see if Manny is up here. So we know Jeannie Mae didn't like the fact that she was so critical about the town. Um, Jeannie Mae definitely made that clear. Well, Boone is leaving, so is Manny out here? Whew, nobody's out here. Well, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever been up there when nobody's been out there. Oh, come on, Manny. Where are you? You're supposed to be guarding the town, etc., etc. Lazy sack of dung. Let's see. Um, let's go into Manny's room. Hey, hey, no, come back here. <laughs> let's leave Manny's room. Hey, wait, wait, get Manny. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
Uh, who would want to hurt uh, Boone's wife? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable, and she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Okay, did you have anything to do with Boone's wife disappearance? Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We don't need to ask him. Yeah, see Any ya. of that? So, Boone is saying it wasn't him. And so here's the fun thing, is you could pretty much lead anybody in front of the, the um, Dino D-Light. Um, and he'll shoot him and it'll be done. But there is actually one right person, and I happen to know that it is Jeannie Mae. She is not a nice lady. So let's see if we can... open this safe it's an easy lock safe that's probably not too smart Jeannie Mae and there is a we're going to take the bottle caps and the pre-war money but there is a bill of sale in here we want alright and you notice we didn't lose karma for that so now let's look at this bill of sale and see what we've, we've picked up we, the representatives of the Consul Officiorum, have this day bargained and purchased from Jeannie Mae Crawford of the Township of Novak the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps, the receipt whereof is hereby acknowledged. We warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy, and slaves for life. We covenant with the said Jeannie Mae Crawford that we have full power to bargain and sell said slave and her offspring. Payment of an additional 500 bottle caps will be due pending the successful maturation of the fetus, the claim to which shall be guaranteed by possession of this document. M. Scribonius Libo Drusus et al. Administrators of M. Licinius Crassus Consul Officiorum ad what is that, Famulatus? So, Jeannie Mae Crawford, this this lovely woman who owns the town, uh, who hey. owns this hotel, hated Boone's wife so much that she sold the woman who was pregnant with Boone's child to to the Legion as slaves. That is going to be the awfulest thing I have ever heard. So now, what we need to do is we need to wait until Boone's back up, up in the watchtower. So it's 10. We are going to wait 12 hours till it's 10 at night. And then it. every time I do this quest, it gives me so much pleasure to march Jeannie Mae in front of the Dino D-Light. It really, 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 really does. So um, first of all, we have to do it with Boone's beret on. So we're going to put Boone's beret on. And we're going to see if Jeannie Mae is still in here. And she sure is. Why are you walking so weirdly? That was the weirdest hey, walk. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Oh, I will be. I sure will be. Uh, come with me. There's something you should see in front of the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. It sure is what I think. Let's go, Jeannie Mae. Where are you? Where did she go? Jeannie Mae, get your ass out here. Uh, little glitches and stuff. Hang on, is she still in here? Um, what in the hell? Where did she go? Oh, there she is. That was really weird. Okay, follow me. Come on. Right this way. Come on. She walks so weird. I just think she walks so weird. Hey, 
right, well, we're gonna just, uh, come on out here. Nice! Return to Boone. Oh, sorry, Jeannie Mae. We're gonna take your safe key and your reading glasses. And we're gonna go return to Boone. He just snipes the crap out of her. I just love that. He just blows her head off. What's up, Boone? That's it, then. How did you know? All right. I found a bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. What will you do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Oh, well, he can become a follower, so come with me. Let's go after the Legion. You don't want to do that. Um, we'll kill more with the two of us, and then, of course, we have high intelligence, so we can use that and say, I thought snipers worked in teams. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Oh, well, so he has given Let's us the spotter here. perk. Let's take a quick look at what the spotter perk is. A uh, spotter. While Boone is a companion, hostile targets are highlighted whenever the player is actively aiming. So they they uh, like I can't remember if they 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 glow red. I think is what that is. So yeah. All right, Boone, you are now my buddy. The other thing, Boone, that we should do is go find out what's been killing the Brahmin. I am not sure what I just heard out of the left side of my headphones. It sounded like freaking mortars. But all right. So let's see what time it is. Uh, 11.15. Perfect. It is almost time. So we are going to come over here. And we're going to go into sneak. We're going to see if we can find out who's been uh, killing off the Brahmin because there is yet another one dead. Alright, um, I want, what, put that back on first of all, and then what do I want to use? Do I want to use the cowboy repeater? I really, I think we're going to use the laser. And then we are going to hang out here for a minute. And see if we can catch whatever's been killing the Brahmin. And it's really funny if you see it before. We're looking for a shimmering in the air. What time is it? Uh, 11.39. Okay, perfect. We're getting close getting close. And they said he's come it's been coming out of the west and we are definitely facing west. We got Boone with us. He'll be a help. Not seeing anybody yet. I'm not seeing any shimmering. Ah, but I am seeing a blip in the distance now. Or is that just the Brahmin? That might just be the Brahmin. <laughs> what time is it? Oops. 12.06. Okay, it should be 
soon. There we go. There's a nightkin coming our way. And we need to stop him from killing any more of these Brahmin. Because the poor guy only has like two left. Okay, so there he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. That was beautiful. Perfect. Stand up, please. So this is a nightkin, and they are super mutants. They're kind of purpley blue looking. And they use, um... They use... We're going to sell that, I think. Uh, they use stealth boys. They're addicted to stealth boys, which has made them go crazy. Um, and they utilize that. Did I hear something else? That was really weird. Okay, so let's go tell our guy in here that we, uh... Saved the last two of his Brahmins. Sorry I didn't save more. Find anything? Sure did. Uh, no one is going to attack your corral from now on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Right. Perfect. So we are now accepted in Novak because we are helpful, helpful people. Anything in your icebox in here? It says you said I could look in here. No. Don't need Brahmin steaks. All right. Perfect. Now, the other thing we want to do is listen <laughs> or is, um, is take a look at the screams of the Brahmin. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. So that is why the Nightkin was actually attacking the Brahmin, was because he thought he heard these Brahmin screaming and they were keeping him from sleeping because it's psychotic, because he's psychotic. All right, so that is what, two down? Um. And we've got Boom with us, and let's go. Oh, it's you guys. Um, we are going to sell that minigun because I really don't need it. I won't be using it. So what's up, Dr. Ada? What can I do for you? Well, um, I need medical supplies. Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. Wow, you don't have to be snippy. Um, let's see. We want to... She's got 208 caps. That's it. Oh, well, the minigun's only going to go for eight anyway, so... Um, we also, oops. It doesn't do anything? Reading glasses don't do anything? Okay, you can have them. Um, we also are going to sell you that and that. Oh my gosh, get these out of here. Yeah, I think that's it. Not a lot, but it got rid of the weight of the minigun. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright, see you later. Bye. Alrighty, so now let's take a look at our quest. Oops. Uh, come fly with me is the next one we're going to uh, go do, and that entails us going up to the Repcon Center. So let us head that direction. I don't want to... There's 49 of those. Eh, let's use the laser pistol. Might as well. And we're going to head up to Repcon now. So we are probably not really going to get into this quest um, before we have to end the episode, but we will um, we will at least make a good start on it. All right, let's pull that guy out and sneak on up here. And you notice the I just want to point out because I just thought about it myself. The uh, nightkin came from the direction of... Oh my god, I thought I was getting attacked. That was just being noisy. Okay. Uh, came from the direction of the Repcon Center. Which I just... <laughs> Literally, I've played this game, I think, three, three times. And I just now realize that. For any of you that have played this game, you'll know why that... Putting those two together just came to me. 
I was expecting. Hmm. All right. Ah, look at this great sign. Hold up, Rocketeers. <laughs> Looking for a tour? Sure, I want a tour of the Repcon Center. All right, there's somebody up here. Oh God, we're already in danger? Really? Jesus. Nice. Just shot a hole right in him. And, but I can't shoot a hole in him. Ow. Ow. A glowing one? I do really, really bad with this weapon, don't I? Whoa, I hate it when they do that blast radiation thing. Whoa! Okay, thanks, Boone. And that is why we have Boone with us. Because he will help. What you got? I'll take a bottle cap. God, I hate it when they do that. Ooh, and we leveled up, guys. We leveled up. All right, what do we want here? Um... Wow, if we put energy weapons up, we'll do a little bit better with this. But I tend to do, you know, I tend to not do that as much. Um, I'd really like our stim packs to do better. And I'd really like our speech to do better. We have two points we could barter. Uh, I'd like our speech to be better too. But I'm more worried about sneak right away than I am about pretty much anything else. Thank you. Thank you for the bottle caps. I should also look and see what our radiation's at after that giant blast of radiation from that ghoul. Freaking glowing ones. So annoying. All right. Put you away for now. I don't think there's anybody up ahead in this little bit here. Oh yeah, is there anything in here? Oh, look at that. Ammo box. Yes, we will take you all. Just get this out and see if I... Yeah, I don't think there's anybody. Oops quite yet and please turn off my light thank you I do happen to know that up here in this bunker like looking area there is rebar club you know who carries rebar clubs mm, super mutants I do know that there is a whole bunch of ammo over here and we definitely want all that we can get right now nope don't do that Oh yeah, we'll definitely take those grenades too. And the bottle caps and the energy cells are all mine. Empty? What the, what is this happy crappy? Okay, I really don't need frag mines, um, but I do, hello, I do want those energy cells. Why won't it let me take the energy cells? Oh, that's not right. Right, okay, but we will take these bottle caps from this gnome who's here playing chess with it. We'll take all that stuff that we don't need. Okay, any bottle caps on the ground here? Nope, but another ammunition box. I was gonna say, you better not be empty. Mm, don't need that. Well, God, Boone scared the crap out of me. I really don't need a harmonica. Ooh, we'll take the jet to sell. We'll take the medics to sell. Anything else? I think we're doing good on scrap. Um, oh, first aid box. There we go. Cool. Two stim packs. And we're also going to sleep for an hour and heal up. So I can save some of my stim packs. I think that is it for this little station here. And this is where we're going to leave it because uh, we're going to be getting into a fight up ahead and that'll push us over our time limit. So, 
you have been watching Mom Plays, you can follow me on Twitter at Tonya Treese, and uh, please like the video. That really does help a lot. I know it's I sound like a, a like whore, a like button whore, but um, really that's the only way you can get up in your standings is if people actually like videos. So, you know, like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.